Analyzing a company's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, SWOT, is a well-established method used by entrepreneurs, consultants, and advisors. Although it is a basic notion, business owners frequently struggle to apply it since it is so wide. It might be tough to know where to begin, what questions to ask, and where to focus. The apparent problems receive attention, while many other critical concerns go unnoticed. SWOT analysis is an excellent tool, but its effective application necessitates additional structure. Internal elements are addressed by strengths and weaknesses, whereas external aspects are addressed by opportunities and dangers. Management, workforce, sales and marketing, operations, and financial are the five categories of internal variables. External factors are further classified into five categories, the threat of new entrants, supplier negotiating power, consumer bargaining power, competitive rivalry, and the threat of substitution. Prepare a checklist utilizing the categories listed above to approach the analysis in a methodical manner. Identify the things that are crucial to your business within each area. Under management, for example, leaning too heavily on the owner is a major issue for practically every small organization. What would happen to the company if the owner is no longer able to operate the business? Employee turnover and the availability of new workers could be factors in the workforce category. The threat of new entrants might include a big box retailer opening near your business. Supply and customer bargaining power should take into account the possibility of losing a significant supplier or customer. It is critical that you do not attempt to rate or address each issue as you identify it. If you do, you will become bogged down in each factor and will never finish the analysis. Once you've completed the checklist, assess each element based on its value to your organization. Use an alphabetical scale from a to E, with a denoting very significant, B denoting important, C denoting some importance, D denoting little value, and E denoting not important. Next, assign a value to each element based on its inherent proficiency or vulnerability, external. Use a numerical scale of 1 to 5, with 1 indicating very proficient or not vulnerable, 2 indicating proficient or minimal vulnerability, 3 indicating average proficiency or some susceptibility, and 4 indicating low proficiency or vulnerability. The components with the lowest letter and greatest number, A5, are the most vulnerable or dangerous. The ones with the lowest letter and number, A1, are the ones with the most strengths or opportunities. A SWOT analysis is achievable and can be used for every small firm when using this organized methodology. To make this approach worthwhile, you must act on the knowledge you have gathered. Work to solve the most difficult problems first, then prepare for the most dangerous dangers, seize the best opportunities, and develop your secondary skills.